Hey, what's up guys? Blazing Wrath here. Today I thought I'd do a simpler video, and I thought I'd do like a simple showcase video on Halo Infinite's promotional items. Uh, basically items that you can't really earn through the game, and you can't really buy them either. They're not in the battle pass or in the store. So I just thought I'd do a simple showcase video, and just do just that. So let's begin. Oh, by the way. I'll also try to mention where some of these items came from, so maybe if, I don't know, if you want to try and get your hands on them, maybe you can do it. But, yeah, I don't remember where all the items came from, but I do remember a majority of them. And I actually do have a majority of them, too. I think there's probably a f I think I'm only missing one promotional item. And I guess to be more specific, I'm talking about promotional, like, cosmetics before the game came out. I know there's a couple new ones that came out after the game, but I'm only specifically talking about the ones would like you were you were able to uh buy way before the game came out so yeah keep that in mind so starting off with the mark 7 armor coatings here's action block which well judging from the name you're supposed to be a sort of mega blocks character so you kind of look like a toy so it's the material looks very plasticky um i mean i don't eh, i don't hate it necessarily it's just there I mean, also, judging by the name, you're supposed to get this from, like, Mega Constructs. I don't know any specific items, but I know you're supposed to get it from them, and you probably get a code, and you probably get this. So, yeah, that that's action block. Next up is Deathly Poison. This is definitely one of my favorite uh, promotional cosmetics. Uh, you get this from buying from Razer. Razer is, a, like, a PC company. Uh, I don't know... The, there, was, there was, like, three specific items. There was a keyboard a mouse and a mic and they all like included like something so get something from Razer and you get this next up is Northwest Sky I believe you get this one from purchasing uh, a Funko product you know those little toys with the big ass heads and googly eyes yeah if you like collecting those um, I think if you get like a Halo Infinite specific one you should be able to get this coating uh, this is like a mid tier for me like it's like I, I kind of like it um, some people don't like it because it looks too plasticky, which again, it's it's from a toy, so I guess it kind of look like a toy, so yeah, Northwest Sky. Next is the Red Shift coating. Uh, this, I believe, came from GameStop. Um, this is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, I like red. Uh, my only criticism I don't like about it is the white around the visor. I, uh, I usually prefer, prefer black around the visor. That way the visor stands out more. If it's any, any other color, then black then I feel like the visor doesn't stand out. That's the same case with Deathly Poison as well. Deathly Poison has green around it and it kind of makes just having different colored visors, I don't know, annoying but that's just my opinion. But hey, Red Shift, pre-ordered from GameStop, power to the players. Next is Wall Breacher. This I believe is from Target. Now I believe this is also like the last minute sort of promotional cosmetic. like. A majority of the cosmetics you're able to get way before the game came out, and then this one came in like last minute, around the uh, like beginning of December. Um, you had to purchase, I think, twenty dollars worth of Halo Infinite like products, and then you you submit a code, you wait two days, and you get this coding. But yeah, this came from Target, and I actually kind of like it. Next is Zeta Sky, and this is probably the most common. A promotional cosmetic out there because you just had to simply pre-order the game um, and it what's you what's unique about this one is the the tech suit or undersuit is white which most of the coatings are not so that's what makes it stand out and you know it's all right I like it it is what it is next is platinum anniversary um, you're able to get this while playing around November 15th now some of you might think I'm crazy just for including this but I look at this as in like, this may not be rare now, but it could be rare later. Unless 343 becomes a dick and fucking just brings it back a year later, which honestly they probably will. But I'm just going to include it in this video. It, it may not be rare now, but it'll probably be, probably be rare later. Next is Watchdog. Um, this skin got a severe downgrade uh, in the final launch compared to previous launch, which as you can see here. Now, the only way to get this uh, coding is to reach SR-152 in Halo 5, which is Spartan rank 152, aka max rank. Uh, that took forever, and that was pain. That was really painful, as I basically grinded wards on Firefight 
I sold my soul to that. Not a fun, not what it definitely wasn't fun grinding. Next up are the armor emblems. Uh, some of these do bleed in through weapon and vehicle emblems as well as nameplate. So I'm just going to explain where to get these once and then if we ever come across them again I'm just going to mention them. So yeah, keep that in mind. First is Assembled. Uh, you get this by playing through like the first two weeks of the game on around like November 15th. So before the campaign came out. Uh, it's a pretty basic emblem in my opinion. It's whatever. Next is Fire in Your Heart. Same thing, first two weeks of playing the multiplayer and you get this. Uh, November 15th before the game came out. It's whatever. Hammer Time. Now I believe this is from a Rockstar energy drink coating. Uh, you just buy Rockstar drinks and you get this emblem. Next is Soul Testing Grounds. This is for people like me that played the technical flights like months ago, way before, like months before the game came out. So there was like what, two, two, three flights that we played in? So those of us that played in those flights got this emblem. Next is ELD or ELD. This is a, uh, a 152 Halo 5 reward. So it's pretty basic and it's funny because this we already have this emblem in Halo 5, so they gave it to us again. I love bees. This one is also first two weeks of uh, when the multiplayer surprise launch. That's all the armor emblems. Moving on to weapon coatings. Now, much like the armor emblems, there will be some repeated weapon coatings. So I'll just explain where they came from the first time and then quickly mention them next time and we'll move on from there. First is the Adrenal Weapon Coating. Now I'm going to spend a bit of time talking about this specific coating because this is from Monster Energy, which I, I think it's like the first promotional thing that went up for Halo Infinite. So, and I think this, you can't really get this anymore. So this is probably the rarest cosmetic in the game. The, the, it comes with four weapon coatings and two two emblems, which I'm not. I think uh, weapon emblems and nameplates. So the monster energy cosmetics are probably the rarest of the bunch that you're gonna see today. So they were the first. They already ended. You can't get these anymore uh, unless you pay a hefty price on eBay, which is I don't do that. But yeah, a general. Next is the dart blaster coating. Uh, you get this by purchasing the Nerf Assault Rifle Dart Blaster, well, from Nerf, so you get that, I think it goes around like between 40 and 50 bucks, and you get a code for it, and you can have it in-game like this. Next is Nocturne Star. This one is the same uh, with the uh, Hammer Time Armor Emblem, where they both come from Rockstar Energy Drinks. So just buy a Rockstar drink, probably get a code, and you get this coating. Next is Perfect Detail. I believe you get this from purchasing like Halo Infinite toys from Jazzware, I believe. So you purchase just a toy or multiple toys. I don't know the specific toys, but you purchase from them and you get this coating. Next is Zeta Sky. Some of you probably have this because you can just get this simply from pre-ordering the game. Next is Platinum Anniversary. Uh, you get this by playing around the first two weeks when the multiplayer came out before the campaign. So around like November 15 ish so may not be rare now but could be rare later next is watchdog which once again just like the armor coating took forever to get max rank in halo 5 uh very painful moving on to weapon charms first up is blue team you get this from playing the game the fur like for the first two weeks the multiplayer came out november 15th somewhere around there so yep Next is Micro Action. Uh, you get this by, by purchasing from Mega Constructs, uh, similar to Action Block. Next is Soft Impact. Uh, once again, you get this from purchasing a product from Nerf. Uh, maybe more in particular, Nerf Mangler. I think that one includes the, uh, the weapon charm. Next is Perfect Control. You get this by purchasing the Xbox, I almost said Xbox 360, uh, Xbox Series X, Master Chief controller, Don't. it literally looks like that, you buy it and then you get it as a weapon charm. Moving on to weapon emblems, some of these you'll see them from the armor emblems, so I'll just quickly show them real quick.
Here's the pha phalanx weapon emblem. Uh, this is related to the adrenaline uh, weapon coatings, so from Monster Energy. So again, very probably one of the rarest uh, items in the game. Here's the Xyphos weapon emblem. Uh, again, related to Monster Energy and as well as the adrenaline weapon coatings. Very rare. Here's the Mark VI weapon emblem. Uh, I believe you get this by completing at least three campaigns on Legendary on Master Chief Collection. And that's how you get this. Now from here there will be repeated weapon codings unless I say otherwise. Here's the Deathly Poison uh, Razor Battle Rifle coating, uh, very similar to the Deathly Poison Armor coating. So like related from Razor, gets in from uh, from them, and you get this. Now here is a Dart Blaster weapon coating for the Bulldog. Now the reason why I want to comment on this is because this is probably the only promotional weapon coating for the Bulldog, which is not very not a very common weapon to get a coating for. So much like the Nerf Assault Rifle, got a Nerf Bulldog, you get the Nerf uh, weapon coating. Now moving on to vehicle coatings, and again a few of these will be repeats. Okay, now this one, the Cherry Vehicle Warthog coating, I believe this one's from Kellogg's, you know, that cereal brand or whatever. Um, I don't think this one's really well known. Uh, I'm not sure how rare it is, but it is from Kellogg's, and that that's really all I know from the coating. It looks pretty cool, and since I like red, I use this one. Here are the vehicle emblems, and they're all repeats. Here are a couple of Razorback uh, vehicle coatings that you'll recognize the names of. And here's the only Rocket Hog vehicle promo coating. Next, moving on to nameplates with Ash Risen or Ash Risen, however you pronounce it. There's uh, Butterfinger promotional emblems. There are four of them. So I'll, I'll mention them as we go, and this is one of them. Here we have Azimuth, Azimoth, however the hell you pronounce it. Uh, this is the second of the four Butterfinger promotional emblems. Here's the Chosen emblem. This is related to the Zeta Sky weapon coatings and armor coatings, so just pre-order the game and you get this emblem or nameplate. I don't know why they have two different names. Next is the crown nameplate. This is related to the Northwest Sky armor coating, if you remember, the blue and yellow one. So just pre not, ah, bleh, not pre-order. Uh, get something from Funko Pop and you get this emblem. 
Here's Decipher, one I can actually fucking pronounce. Uh, this is three out of the four Butterfinger promotional nameplates. And finally, here's Draco. That is the fourth promotional Butterfinger nameplate. Here we have the Fangs nameplate. This is related to the Deathly Poison armor coating and battle rifle weapon coating. So related to Razor, so get something Halo Infinite related from Razor and you get this nameplate. Here is the figured nameplate. Uh, I don't remember exactly where this came from. I think it's from Jazzwares or Jazzware, I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, related to, I think, the perfect detail weapon coating. So I think a Halo Infinite toy. So purchase Halo Infinite toys and you get this. Here's the Foam, uh, foam Fury nameplate. Uh, this is related to the Dark Blaster weapon coatings for the Assault Rifle and Bulldog. So purchase something from Nerf and you get this. This is the Pro Builder nameplate. Uh, this is related to the Action Block coatings for the Warthog and Armor coating, so from Mega Constructs. So purchase from them and you get this. And here's the only backdrop in the game you could have earned the first two weeks when Halo Infinite's multiplayer surprise launch. Now that's all the pre-launch promo cosmetics guys. Let me know which one of them do you have in the comments below, or tell me your favorite one. Like the video if you enjoyed, share the video if, any, if anyone might be interested, and if you want to stick around, subscribe. You can also find me on Twitch and Twitter. Both links will be down in the description. And until next time, peace.